easily. Well, we love ReadyWise here at HSN because they allow you to have really good great tasting food and all you need is some water to make it happen and tonight we have an exclusive kit that actually is 60 servings of some of the best ready to go food that you ever find i really love the grab bag it comes with i think that's super convenient so you can literally grab it and you can go and it might be an emergency like oh my gosh i lost my job and i need some food to eat or it could be a true emergency like a hurricane or ice where you simply can't get to the store or the power's been out for so long there's nothing in the fridge left you always can now know for the next 25 years that you've got really good food ready to go. Now, I want to show you a picture because I made my husband dinner tonight. Easiest dinner I've ever made in my life. <laughs> now, you don't have to boil the water, but it recommends for each of these to do four cups of water. And I boiled it, and then you throw it in, and we were done. So my husband comes up to me, he says, what are you having for dinner? And I said, we're going to have this. He goes, well, what is it? I go, well, believe it or not, it's ready to eat food. So he took one bite, and he goes, oh, my God, it's so much better than MRIs. He was in the <laughs> Army forever. That was his first statement, MRIs. Yeah, ready to eat meals, right? M ready to, what is it? Wait, MREs. Oh, meals ready to eat, yes. So that was his first thing. And then the second thing he started eating, he goes, oh my gosh. He goes, it's surprisingly really good. He goes, boy, if you're in an emergency, this, this, this will do it, it'll make you happy. So it was so funny that he had never tried it before. And we both ate it tonight. That was a picture of the little bowl I was eating. And it makes a lot. We have a lot to get into. And I've got Stephanie here to kind of get into it with me. I Hello. That you did that. So that. That was dinner tonight. That's exactly <laughs> what actually we'd like everybody to do, right? Because we want to know that it's tastes good. So how do you know? You try, try it. it. You get it home, you make one. Uh, Shannon Fox was saying that she kind of did the same thing with her kids, but she didn't even tell them what it was. She's just like, oh, I just made a different kind of mac and cheese tonight. Do you like it? And they were like, yeah, this is better than usual. <laughs> oh, so, really? Exactly. That's it's awesome. better than her cooking. So <laughs> the food is there and it tastes great. So what ReadyWise is all about is it's keeping you ready for anything that comes your way. And boy, if there's anything we've learned over the past couple of years, it can happen. If it can, it probably will will, right? So being prepared for any of it is so important. And no matter what is going on in the world, we have to eat. So what ReadyWise has done is they have taken some awesome recipes, whether it's the chicken pot pie that you tried so tonight, had. the cheesy mac, and that's the one that we've got here is that chicken pot pie. They've taken the recipes, chefs wrote the recipes. There are real ingredients, real foods that are then both a combination of dehydrated and freeze dried. And the reason is different foods do better having different processes done to them. Meaning what she, uh, what Suzanne was able to eat with her husband, it wasn't mushy, it wasn't like no, pasty. And the all. reason is the potatoes were treated the way potatoes want to be treated so that you get the great textures, you get the awesome flavors, you get the spices. The chefs figured out the recipes and the scientists figure out how to treat the food. And here's the really cool pouch. How to make which is essentially a smart pouch right. to hold it in. Because it's one thing to have great tasting food. I mean, I'm a pretty good cook, but I have no idea how to keep things in a pouch for up to 25 years. That's where the ready wise sciences come in. So that every one of these recipes that we talk about and we'll make and we'll sample and we'll tell you what makes them great, every one of the things you're going to see is ready for you whenever you need them. All you have to do is keep it in a cool, dry place for up to 25 years. So this isn't something like the emergency kit you may have right now with cans, with pouches mm -hmm. of, you know, things from the grocery stores. You have to replace those every year year. There's nothing I hate more than throwing out food. But if I pack an emergency kit and then I go back and I check the expiration dates, which everything that comes from the grocery store has, you're going to be getting rid of that food. Right. Absolutely. You should. Ab I mean, you need to. We have a lot of people who are preppers. You know, they prep mm -hmm. for hurricanes, especially here in Florida. I mean, because we're, we're always in hurricane season, you know, oh, it's hurricane <laughs> season again. So uh, the, most everybody I know, we all have our own little way to prep. And a lot of people go and they replace it or they don't replace it. And God knows if they have to use it, they can't eat it. Like big things of rice where it's got little rice bugs in there. Right. With this, you never have to worry about it. And I'll tell you what I loved, quite frankly, is being able to pick it up and go. Yes. Like it's just, if you've got to get in the car and you've got to get out of there, there's nothing worse than being in an emergency. And in some circumstances, i.e. hurricanes, you get the warning. So you got to get in the car and go. Well, you can't pack your whole fridge inside there. So literally you grab this and out the door you go. If you're a camper, maybe you love going camping or hiking. Oh my goodness, this is the 
best way to Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. And it was funny, my, my husband was reason, reading the amount of calories and carbs, right? Mm -hmm. And the calories are really reasonable, which was nice to see, right? Yeah. And he said, oh, it's higher in carbs. But then he thought about it, well, of course, in an emergency or if you're hiking, you want to have more carbs. You need those carbs for energy. Absolutely. So I thought, wow, isn't that funny how my husband really logically kind of went through all the reasons why this is such a good product. And these meals are very specifically chosen, first of all, because they taste great, but also because they're put together so that you can make a day's worth of meals with 40 grams of protein. And yeah. protein is it's important protein. because, yes, that is a lot and a good healthy amount of protein. Protein keeps you full, right? So whether you're in an emergency or just going through your basic day, if you're trying to eat things that are efficient for your body, you need a blend of carbohydrates and protein. And again, that's where the science comes in. That's how these meals are put together. So let me show you how it works, because let me let me give you a little secret. Suzanne, she didn't work very hard at cooking dinner tonight for her husband. <laughs> no, I did not. This is all she has to do. All you do is add water. Now, I know Suzanne told you she boiled her water. You can see that we've got pots here. Everything tastes better when it's warm, right? I mean, right. just no surprise about that. So right now, I'm going to add don't this have to warm to water. Boil the water. No, if we were in a true emergency right now, and we didn't have our great generator from the Today Special, and we were using tap water, we were using freezing cold water in the winter, this would still reconstitute. So you don't have to have warm water if you can. Of course, you'll probably enjoy the just the sensation of warm food more. But in terms of texture, in terms of flavor. That chicken pot pie that you ate for dinner and that wonderful little snap those potatoes had, yeah. which I really love. You know what's funny? I can taste the celery. Oh, fun. Yeah, like, it was fun. It was interesting to be able to taste the distinct flavors of the vegetables. Peppers and peas and I, It was very surprising. They're all in there. Because I think a lot of us, when we think about ready-to-eat meals, right, we're thinking, oh, it's just kind of like porridge. Right. You know, or like Ugh. oatmeal, you know? It's like, oh, it just has this one bland texture. taste. Texture, yes. Yeah, and texture, yeah, really a bad texture, right? It's the right? swishy texture think that porridge. goes in. Yeah. Right, and I'm so, glad you tried this one, because did you notice the potatoes yes. actually had a little crunch and pop to them? Yes, you know, did. it wasn't just like mush. You're like, so what's kind of cool to me is even if you do this with tap water, cold water, as long as it's safe drinking water, you can have a great tasting meal. The texture will still be there. The flavors will still be there. The spices will still be there. The only thing different is the temperature. So, of course, if you're not in an emergency or you have the ability to make warm food with warm water, do it. If not, there is dinner regardless. Isn't that fun? All right, guys, so you're getting 60 servings. Now, yep. here's what also surprised me. Where is it? Is this bag full? Uh, yeah. Okay. I was surprised how big the bag is. Are. Like they're really, really big. In oh, fact, absolutely. there was enough for probably four of us to eat when we there finished the, been. Ch the chicken pot there pie. There should have been. Okay, so yeah. this is the one you made. Yeah. I can divide this into quarters because each and it's, pouch. it's hearty. Yes, each pouch is four servings. So, for instance, for the chicken pot pie, you're getting two of those. So you'll get eight servings. Right. But if I were to divide this up into quadrants, I know it's not the prettiest thing. No. That is your serving. Okay, that's probably as much as you'd want to eat. Yes, Now, absolutely. I mean, if you're raising teenage boys, guilty, you know, <laughs> they'll eat more. So obviously factor that in. But when you're looking at the bag, and we tell you that it's 60 servings, that is 60 servings of food, that's enough for one person to get around 1,800 calories a day and 40 grams of protein. Wow. So that's, that's where right. the seven day supply comes in. So if there's two people in your house and you're like, well, at this point in time, I think I'm only gonna able to do one, so then you know that you'll have enough food for around three days, three plus a little bit. Sure. Now, the Red Cross and FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, they recommend kind of their baseline, what everybody should have in their home is three days of food per person. And until I worked with ReadyWise, there's no way I could have done that. I mean, that's a lot of food in your pantry. Yeah, that's if true. you think about the amount of food to get that many calories and then have it be nutritious. Right. And right. then have it taste good. Right. So yes. I was definitely <laughs> failing on all the above. So this makes it easy, right? Oh, you don't no. have to figure out how to assemble the cans. You don't have to figure out what's going to stay shelf stable. And I guarantee you there's nothing at the grocery store that's shelf stable or that you would want to eat for, for 20, 25, 25 years. Yeah. Yes, you didn't put a can on your shelf for 25 years later. You're like, really? Really? Am I going to eat that? No, you're not. And again, this is a great way to try it too. Yes. Because obviously we sell, ReadyWise does a great job of selling much bigger containers. We do tubs. You know, we have lots of different versions. For me, this is a great try me. It's great for camping. If you're on a budget and quite frankly, food, we know the cost of food nowadays. When it comes down to per serving and you divide it into the price of it tonight, that's a really, believe it or not, affordable way of eating. $1.50 a serving. It, I mean, that's amazing, guys. And I just, oh my gosh, I can't believe I went to the 
groceries today. I bought two bags, I think two bags. It was $57. Right. I was just like, and I wasn't buying like bottles of, uh, you know, Vouv or, you know, really <laughs> expensive champagne, right? right? I was just buying stuff, right? Yep. Two bags only. So, you know, that might be an issue for you. And you're like, well, you know, we got to eat or you just never know when emergency is going to happen. We don't. We don't know if it's going to be emergency that, oh my God, somebody lost their job and how you're going to eat, you know, how we're going to afford so I can get to a paycheck. It might be the emergency of the hurricane. It might be the storm coming up. It might be the ice that hits. You do, oh, I'll tell you another thing. Oh my gosh, how handy would this have been to have a couple packs of this when they had that huge ice storm up in, was it Virginia last year? Oh, absolutely. And people were trapped on that highway yep. for hours and hours and hours and hours. In hey, their car. they had snow. In their car. Guess what? Yeah, you could have made water out I'm of it. I'm you, could have made water. Yep. And guess what? Now you've got food. And even if you just threw a couple of, but again, you want to make sure you keep them cool and dry so don't put it in a hot car forever but you know if you're but in, in, the winter, country, in the winter winter yeah, so i grew up up oh, that's north great. throw it in the car absolutely and we used to keep like granola bars and bottles of water in the back yep. because you do occasionally have to worry about sliding into a snowbank and that was just my dad's thing of you know well, at least you'll have something to eat it was a granola bar <laughs> you know it wasn't going to do very much so obviously no matter the situation if it's a fire risk you are grab and go which i great love point. if you are a hurricane and at least you get a couple of you know days warning to make plans maybe you're making the plans to evacuate but i have four boys if i show up at suzanne's house because she's in a safe location she doesn't want to feed me <laughs> you know she wants me to come with my own food or if people evacuate to you no matter That's the situation point. now you have food for them this is about being prepared for anything and none of us can really know what's ever going to happen but you know you need to eat and i know especially raising teenage boys with the price of groceries that if I can both be prepared, have food that tastes great, have peace of mind as a mom, and get a good value all at the same right. time, that is checking literally every single box there is for me. Now guys, this is part of our weekly deal drop, which means the deal's oh. only good for a limited amount of time, and we've got three flex, and what I really love is free shipping on this too. Mm. This is, again, this is not a small little pack. I mean, it's a really good size pack here. So to get free shipping on this is exceptional and rare. So definitely take advantage of it. And here's the other thing. You buy it once. I hope to God you never have to use it. My dream is you'll never have that emergency. I Absolutely. really do. That's. I hope you never have to open it up. But if you need it and when you need it, you're going to go, I am so happy I got that. And maybe you don't need it for 10 years or 15 years or 20 years, but 25 years from now, you don't have to worry about the one thing, two things that are most important in emergency. Getting power, that's our today's special, yep. and getting food, and that's the ready wise. And I love the fact, Steph, that we have them both in the same show. So it's two orders. You get it done, use our flex pay, and then forget it. Don't even worry about it. You are you actually are prepared. I don't know if you've ever seen an emergency, man. People get so desperate because when oh, they're not scary. prepared, oh, it's the awful. The fear takes over. Yes. I mean, grocery store shelves being bare, I mean, heck, that Before doesn't even take an emergency. Oh my we God. got problems yeah. with that right now. I mean, well, you know, it's crazy. When we know a hurricane's coming here to Florida, oh, it's, crazy. it's cleared out. Everything's yeah. cleared out. Like, and if you were the last one to get to the store to get water, you're just in trouble. Yep. You so really this are. is how you keep yourself from panicking. Uh, mm -hmm. The way ReadyWise puts it is you are confident and comfortable because you're confident knowing that you have checked the box, your family will eat, it is one less thing to worry about, and you're comfortable throughout the emergency because you have food. There is nothing worse than being hungry. Listening to your kids be unhappy because they're hungry. Obviously, if you're breaking into this for your entire family, something's going on in the world, right? There's already something else you're worried about, being it rising water or approaching snow or whatever the natural disaster may be, this allows you to focus on those other things. Keep the kids calm, shore up the basement, uh, help the receding floodwaters, whatever it is, you've got the food covered. And remember, all it takes to have this food is water and it does not have to be hot water. So I'm gonna take what's in the pouch, and in this case, it is teriyaki rice. You can see that that is real rice, and what I like so much about that is that you can also see the peppers. You can also see the carrots. And this one, by the way, has a little bit of a kick. Because guess what? It's teriyaki. If we called this teriyaki rice and it was bland, you would immediately be like, I thought this was a recipe, <laughs> right? You expect it to have a little bit of a zing. And you can smell that, and the spices are there. And honestly... What are we eating tonight? Uh, we could eat whichever you I like. I want to try something other than what I had for dinner. Okay. Is that stroganoff? Uh, that is stroganoff. We'll go ahead and show you in five minutes. That will be very oh, good. edible and ready to go. But okay. yeah, let's try the stroganoff right okay. now. I see it we back there. We did warm these like, oh, up for you. Like, it's time to eat. Well, um, um, a couple things. One, we have auto ship on this. Oh, it is nice and warm. Oh, look at 
this, you guys. Now, come on, look at this. Look at that. Now, that is like homemade stroganoff. Can you guys see it? Homemade stroganoff. Look how delicious that is. Does that not make your mouth water? And you can see it's not mush. It's not, you know, porridge. <laughs> right. It's the texture it's, that really is cool about this. Yeah, it's think surprising. Think about pasta yeah. if the texture's off. It's oh, like paste. Oh, it's awful. It's yeah. so bad. So and I'm we, a texture girl. So if this was funky, I'd let you know. <laughs> okay, um, auto ship. You can get this every 30 days. So again, if maybe this has to be the way you've got to eat for a couple of months, that's an awesome thing to do. And you can slow that down, you can speed it up. Maybe you're going on a trip and you want really convenient food. Maybe you have someone going hiking or camping. This is fabulous camp food awesome. because it's so simple and easy and it is hearty and you do have a ton of protein, which actually surprised us as well. So that's a, a great thing is auto ship. And I have about 700 spaces for auto ship. If you just want to get it one time, that's what most people do quite frankly, and then you're done. You check it off the list and you go, oh my gosh, that's one less thing I have to worry about. And it really is, and we've had prepared food from HSN for a long time at our mm -hmm. house. And um, it's awesome that I don't even think about that. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. Like once I got mine, I'm like done. Right. Like I don't even, if a hurricane's coming, we'll think about tying up the furniture and getting stuff inside, but I don't have to worry about food anymore. Right. And the same thing, whether it's snow or flood waters or anything oh, else. Yeah, I love the struggle oh, too. Oh, really good. Yeah. <laughs> so here's a look at everything that is coming to you in the dry bag. By the way, the only requirement with this is that you store it in a cool, dry place. A couple of great ideas, because I'm kind of attached to the dry bag. Sure. Like, because there's a lot of things I need to keep dry. The one time that we did have a little scare here on the last few years, I was taking things off the wall. I was, you know, just all of a sudden you assumed the worst. You could put this in, you know, a plastic container under your bed for storage, and then you have a dry bag at the ready. Exactly. So you could buy a dry bag for $30, $40 by itself. You're getting that kind of as the bonus with all of the food. Fun little test we did too. We put water in the dry bag. That is also a water bag. Because remember, if it'll keep water oh. out, it will keep water in. So if you need it to haul water or That's store water, you can do that as well. Yeah, we found that on the ReadyWise website. So really great idea of other things you can do with the bag. So do you mind, let's take a minute and go sure. through every entree yes, that we're getting. Absolutely. Just so everybody can get an idea of the variety. Because honestly, it's pretty good. So there's two different grains, if you will. Uh, yes, you could use them for breakfast. You could use them for snacks. One of them being maple and brown sugar. So you're actually going to get three packs of the maple and brown sugar cereal. When I tell you the cinnamon and the maple flavors just overwhelm you, the scent as it, as it cooks, cook being a, a word that really just means rehydrate, it tastes awesome and you will love the flavors. Then there's five different lunch and dinner style entrees and we're gonna go right down the line here. This is the teriyaki rice, great chunks of carrots and peppers. And if you were to put this in one of those white cardboard containers from like Chinese takeout, you'd never know that they didn't make it there and that it wasn't authentic. That is how good the spicing is. Now, Suzanne and her husband uh, tried the uh, chicken pot pie with the potatoes. By the way, both the teriyaki rice and the chicken pot pie are gluten-free. And I think that is great because a lot of times there's people following certain uh, diets and guidelines within their families, mm -hmm. but that doesn't stop during an emergency. Mm -hmm. You know, that would really upset your stomach if you all of a sudden went on a different diet. So I like the fact that there's a couple gluten-free options as well, and there's also a vegetarian and a vegan option. Uh, we also have the creamy pasta with vegetables. That is one of my favorites. Uh, again, the rotini just keeps its shape and its texture. You can see the big chunks of peas and peppers and carrots, just a really nice flavor profile file there. Uh, the kids are big fans of the Cheesy Mac, but when we talk about variety, again, I like the fact that there's something with a little tang. I like a little more flavor than probably a small child will. It's not usually too hard to convince kids to eat Cheesy Mac. So that is very true. That is part of that. And of course, we uh, mom is happy when the kids are happy, emergency or not. Uh, Suzanne <laughs> also just tried the stroganoff. Uh, if you ate a blind taste test, closed your eyes, you would not know that I hadn't spent 10 minutes making a white sauce with a sour cream base and, and putting it into fresh egg noodles. That is how well blended and seasoned these entrees are. So you were getting two bags of each of these entrees, which is eight servings of each of these entrees. And then we also gave in a bag of granola, Great for snacking, great. great for anything. Uh, we're gonna talk in a minute about some fruits and vegetables you can add to it. But if you did nothing else, you are getting breakfast, lunch, and dinner for one person for seven days, and that figures about 1,800 calories a day and 40 grams of protein. So that's a lot of food for a week. It is a lot. And that's important food. Well, and again, you know, I think a lot of us, um, <clears throat> it always happens. You end up being 
defense instead of on the offense. Mm -hmm. So what happens is if you're on offense, you're prepared, you're ready, you have it, you're ready to go. If you're defensive, what happens is once the emergency happens, then you're freaking out trying to figure it out. I like being on the offense. I'm not a big fan of being on the defensive position. Um, I don't think any of us really want to be that. And a lot of us think, oh, that'll never happen to me. I am telling you, you, you absolutely know someone who's had an emergency where they needed food and they need water and they need electricity. We know that. And by the way, if you need water, we've got this awesome, awesome uh, water bottle, which is fabulous from, again, ReadyWise. Love this. Yeah. This is available. It's going to filter all your water for you. Literally drinking out a pool of a puddle. This is going to take care of it for you. So we've got the water. This is going to be your food element. And then our today's special, we'll show that one more time maybe on the side graphs. That's also available for your electricity. So instead of going through life just going, well, it's never going to happen to me, you just don't know. For example, the poor folks in Kentucky. Yes. Who would think they'd have all that flooding in right. Kentucky? Yeah. I mean, think about all the crazy weather we're having. No one is safe, unfortunately, and that stinks. I mean, you know, if you think about out west, you guys have a lot of uh, tornadoes. We deal with hurricanes all the time in Louisiana, here in Florida. Houston Tech, all the Texans yep. have to deal with that. Guys, in the wintertime, how often have you had powder hour outages? Or the ice or snowstorm has taken down big electronic, you know, like those big, uh, you know, poles, you know, your electronic lines going house to house. And again, without electricity, your fridge eventually is going to obviously not work. The food's going to go bad inside the fridge. It just becomes this desperate game of almost survival. When you have all this, all of a sudden you really do have a sense of calm and a sense of security knowing, well, in this case, at least I've got my food handled. And pretty much I'm going to be able to find the water, hopefully to be able to cook it. But remember, any water will work. It can be cold. It can be tap water. It can be, you know, filtered water, which I would recommend. Absolutely. Picking up that bottle is awesome. It's meant for drinking, but you can squeeze out of the bottle. Oh, good. So listen, if you were really worried about the quality of your water, you can squeeze through the bottle, take the water, use it to rehydrate the food, and you literally are good That's to go. Smart. You've checked absolutely every box. Because I have a bottle box. that has a filter in it. Mm -hmm. You can't squeeze it out. You can uh, only suck it out. Yes. So it's and awesome. that makes it awkward. <laughs> yeah, well, and, yeah, you just spit <laughs> okay. it out of your food. Right, yeah. Now we're but getting I mean, gross. That's really smart. I yes. mean, that's what ReadyWise really thinks of all these little details to make this really be an effortless purchase for you. Uh, I want to point out too, we've got FlexPay on this, which is great. Mm -hmm. So here we go. To get this home, let me show you. We have three FlexPays of about $30. So you're going to pay it off in three months. You'll get it right away. Here's what you can do. Taste some of it. If you don't love it, you can send it back. We're still going to refund your money, but you don't have to pay it off until three months from now. And then you sit back and guess what? For the next 25 years, it, you don't have to worry. That's it. It's, it's awesome. It's really remarkable. You almost have to get your head around that. Right. If I make this investment, I don't have to worry. No matter what happens, wherever my family goes, easy to move with you for 20 five years. There's nothing we can control in this world. We have so learned that in the past couple of years. Right. And you truly need to be ready for anything. But no matter what's happening out there, no matter, maybe you're just having a day where you don't feel well. For me, it's a late night at work combined with bad traffic. Let's get something out for dinner. If you get ill, if you fall ill and aren't able to get to the grocery store or able to get up and make meals for your family, this is a great way to still put great tasting, nutritious food on the table. So I think we can define emergency loosely, right? We always talk about the natural disaster especially today with the generator. And listen, those are important and very unpredictable. But an emergency can be anything that is just keeping you from doing your normal routine and feeding your family. Sure. I got you the teriyaki okay, rice. Try. It's warm, so definitely it. let it uh, cool right. off for just a second. But I want to hear about the, the zing and see if you notice what I I've noticed. I've not tried it yet. Okay, good. I'm glad that's a new one. Oh, it's really good. Isn't that fun? Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like great takeout from a Chinese exactly, restaurant. Exactly. It's just like the rice you get at a Chinese restaurant. That's really good. So what I like about this is when we say it's teriyaki rice or when we say it's creamy pastas and vegetable, that's really what it is. It isn't like just a, a hint of it or a powdered flavor of it, you know? When you say emergency food, I know the first thing that comes to mind is chalky, powdery, sticky, bland, and that is not what ReadyWise is all about. They have chef-designed recipes, and as you can see from each one of these dishes, when it says it's gonna be cheesy macaroni, you're gonna taste the depth of the cheese, you're gonna get the right consistency of the macaroni, and it's going to be the type of thing that you look forward to eating. So 
everything that we're making here, we're just adding water. You do see pots in front of me, but that's just because it reconstitutes or rehydrates more quickly with warm water. And quite honestly, both Suzanne and I will tell you, we'd really rather have a warm meal, but in an emergency, I'm eating a room temperature meal all day long, as long as it tastes good. And that's the difference with ReadyWise. I have some additional items that you can add to it if you'd like to, and I'm just gonna run the list really fast. You can add corn, broccoli, and peas. Those are all freeze-dried. We've got um, dried fruit.